Hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. Um, um, you were playing with some um, um, real rookies out there, obviously. Uh, Tyler alongside you for every snap and a little bit of Drew Phillips. Right. How do you think those guys um, dealt with their first NFL game? I think they played really well, uh, really well. Uh, Drew Phillips, he was he was very productive for us when he was on the field. Uh, New was a communicator, facilitator, um, everything we asked of him. Could you tell that they were playing in their first game? You know, any little hiccups there along the way? Nah, not really, honestly. That was a big, uh, I actually was just talking to Noob. So uh, that's uh, just proud of him. Proud of him, but it's, it's it's not about doing it one time. It's about consistently doing it. So just on him about that. And did you watch the uh, Packers game the other day? No, did not. You didn't watch it? Mm -hmm. no, okay. You heard your former teammate came up with an interception early in the game? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. I seen that. I seen that. Good pick. Do you reach out to him at all? No, nah, I didn't. I didn't speak to him. Okay. Thank you. No, no problem. Ryan Dunleavy. JP, thanks for doing this. Um, red zone defense. Obviously, that's uh, one of the calling cards of Bowen, and I'm sure it wants to be. I'm sure you guys want to make it your calling card, and they scored two in the red zone, and the one uh, – the third one, I think, was from the 21-yard line. So how do you do it, guys do a better job there of, uh, you know, maybe holding them to field goals or tightening up? Uh, it really comes down to fundamentals, man, truthfully. Uh, being in your gap, uh, using your hands, getting off blocks, um, no panic in that sense. And, uh, I mean, we understand where he was, and that's where we want to end up when it's all said and done. How important is settling that number two cornerback for the for the chemistry of the secondary? Like, if you guys, it's so much a communication based defense, mm -hmm. and it looks like from series to series, you guys had a different guy out there. Do you guys need to pick a guy to uh, be able to settle things down to fill that role? I mean, that's not my say. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm here to play ball and uh, play with the pieces I'm given. But uh, I, I mean, again, we had we had an injury, you know, so that that's there goes your continuity right there. Uh, so I wouldn't blame it on a rotational thing. Um, we got different personnel packages. Uh, guys do certain things and certain uh, personnel that we like and we prefer. Um, but yeah, again, kind of out of my pay. And JP, you were here obviously last year, the year before. Mm -hmm. A new season kind of feels like a clean slate, but yeah. you guys didn't necessarily get a clean slate from the fans. How did you react to their frustrations? Man, I'm I'm a realist. I mean, we gotta give them something to cheer about. You know, you don't you don't come to uh, spend your hard earned money and come and you know come to watch that. So I mean, we gotta give them something to cheer about. Thanks, JP. Yep. Kim Jones. Hi. Can you hear me? Okay, Jason. Yep, I can. How you doing? Good. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. No problem. Appreciate it. Um, how, how much did, did the outing yesterday and the way it turned out kind of catch you off guard? You guys don't, you know, practice through a really hot training camp, mm -hmm. you know, to have that be the first impression for this team. So what is your take on how that happened yesterday? My, so me personally, my biggest thing with week one, um, it's exactly what you just kind of alluded to the highs of. Uh, training on your own, coming back with the guys, uh, for us specifically, a new system, uh, OTAs, training camp, and it's, you're on this big roller coaster and you get to the top and it's week one and it's not like the the, the roller coaster is over. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's one week. I mean, obviously, yes, we'd like to win home opener at home, New Jersey's feeling good. I mean, of course, uh, that's the goal, but uh, no panic, no panic, just just urgency. Does it help at all that it's a division opponent awaiting you at the end of this week and it is on the road? For sure. Because, uh, I mean, if you're a guy and you're out there, which I, I don't think it's any of us, and you're not, your urgency is not there, well, it, it, it got to be uh, this week, you know? So it kind of forces that hand. So, for sure. I appreciate you doing this. Yeah, Thank no you, problem. Jason. We'll take one more. Jordan Renan. Hey, JP, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Hey, my interpretation is that that locker room was a pretty down locker room, right? I know it's yeah. week one. A lot of times you can just kind of brush it off. Mm -hmm. What do you sort of attribute that to? 
Uh, I man, I it's to it's to the expectation of the group. You know, um, obviously, yeah, you don't just, I mean, brush off a loss. Like, I shoot, I, I think I hate losing more than I like winning. Uh, but uh, it's just uh, down because you know how hard you work, you know, all off season, like I just stated, all off season, all OTAs, all training camp, uh, things coming together, uh, a lot of roots popping up, uh, doing good things for us. So the expectation, so uh, just the disappointment in that, but uh, ready to get to it with this division one. And he mentioned the fans before. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, what do you say to, okay, this isn't going to be like last year. This isn't an extension of this year. Like, what do you have in your mind or to that? What would you say to them that, you know, it's not going to be like that, that we're going to turn it around? Like, what makes you feel that way? Uh, is I, And I, I know it might be a little corny or whatever, but it's just I know how hard these guys work in the room. Uh, I know how hard we work day to day. I know how hard we work from meetings to walkthroughs and making it come to life. Um, it's just we got we got a this league, man. It comes down to one, one, two, three plays, um, and it's a, a huge momentum shift, um, whatever the case may be. So, just uh, keep riding with us, and we, we're gonna turn this thing around.